This time we're going to use uh, LibreOffice to print addresses on our envelopes and then we can uh, mail it off. So open up LibreOffice Writer here and go to the Insert tab uh, on the menu here. And uh, go to Envelopes and in here where it says Addresses, basically this is where you're sending it to. So you fill that out, just type it in. Uh, I have one address here for rebates. And the sender, this is uh, your address, so you fill that out. If you don't want to show your sender address, you can always uncheck this. And you see the little preview over here, they have this two um, what is that, gray boxes. That means uh, that's where it's going to be or not be if you uncheck it, right? Um, as far as the format tab here, this is like to increase um, you know, the boxes here. So you have these two gray boxes, the sender and, and, uh, and uh, the two address. So you can actually increase the position if you want, uh, the left and top, right? If you ever messed up or something, you can always uh, click on this format here. They have different formats. You click on that and click back to number 10 envelopes. If you're in the US, uh, number 10 envelopes is the standard. So you can actually go to the post office or Staples or something like that, and that's what they're going to sell you, all right? Uh, if you're in a different country, you can choose some of these other things, which I don't know what you guys use. Um, that's it for that part. And then the printer here, mine is uh, I use the horizontal left, but it really depends on your printer. Like I have a HP LaserJet uh, 1018. I didn't even know my printer um, can print uh, envelopes until today. And I had this printer for like 10 years and I never actually used that shit until uh, like yesterday uh, to print these things. Anyways, uh, this is kind of like a trial and error. It really depends on, uh, you know, your printer uh, and how you were positioned the envelope to print. So you choose one of these uh, depending on your printer that you have. You might have to do like trial and error, see if it prints out uh, correctly. So you might lose uh, a couple of envelopes trying that out. But uh, after that, you know, you're set, you know what to do. Uh, other things you can do. No, that's it. Everything. If you have everything set up and you want to see how it looks like, you click on uh, new documents here. Right. And this is, they give you a little preview first. And then all you got to do is hit print uh, and it'll print from your printer. Make sure you have envelopes in there in the proper tray. Like some printers, they have different trays for different uh, envelopes or regular paper. Mine has a different one for a different tray. So, uh, like I said, it depends on your printer. Okay, and that's all you gotta do. And I actually had to do this for rebates because some of these fuckers, um, they want you to follow you know the directions. Let me give you an example here. Uh, so this is the rebate that I had to do. So it says envelopes without proper labels may not be delivered. That means you, I ain't gonna get my money if I don't uh, do what they say. So you see right here it says you have to cut out these, uh, um, what is that, this uh, label for their address. And then they want you to print out this whole page here, which is everything else is blank. It's just that little part here, which is a waste of paper. And plus on top of that, you have to cut this fucking thing out and then uh, tape it on to... Um, you know the envelope just so they can you know be more clear for them to read the fucking thing which is kind of annoying and I actually used to do that but today I was uh, or like yesterday I was uh, saying fuck this I'm gonna learn how to do this and surprisingly like I said I didn't know my printer has uh, the envelope option of printing but uh, it does and so I'm gonna start using that uh, from now on and it's really not that hard but you know if you ever do rebates you actually have to follow their fucking rules otherwise you ain't getting your money back and I want to get my money back because uh, you can't actually just write it out with your own handwriting, which uh, is what you're supposed to do, but they don't want you to do that. Anyways, that's how you uh, would print out, you know, uh, more professionally, I guess, because more legibly uh, using Linux and LibreOffice. Or you can just use LibreOffice because it's uh, open source and then it's on uh, available for all the distributions, uh, even different OS and everything. That'll be it for this one.